Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a video that has been much anticipated for a while. I've been meaning to do it for a long time, but oh man, I've been busy. We are finally analyzing all of the images for Halo Hero Series 18 and Halo Infinite Series 5 blind bags. So without further ado, let's get straight into it because we've got a lot to talk about today. We're going to break down each figure, some of the important notes about the Halo Heroes and why that Atriox is particularly important for the future of Halo. Before I get started today, you may notice I'm wearing some quite nice clothing today. I actually got a parcel recently. Trying to hold it while also holding the mic. From SummerEverest.com. And this is a men's clothing store for special occasions. It's actually pretty cheap clothing, but seems to be really high quality. And they sent me $100 worth of shirts, so I am really... <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad idea. So I am really appreciative to Summer Everest for sending me these clothes. And I'm not going to force in an ad here, but I'm just going to change up my clothing throughout this video and wear all the different ones they've sent us. And if you want to check out the link to SummerEverest.com, you can support the channel by going and shopping for some nice men's clothes. Why not? Links in the description down below. So I thought, which one should I start with? The blind bags or the heroes? I want to start, actually, by thanking Mega for providing me with the HD images for these sets. It's really always exciting to do proper reveals. And I particularly had fun revealing Halo Heroes Series 18. I guess we'll start with the Heroes 18, and I want to begin by addressing a concern that I'm seeing so much recently, and that's about distribution. Distribution is a really hard topic to tackle, and I want to do some kind of official press release with Mega soon. I'm pushing Mega for an official statement regarding Halo Heroes, but at the time being, we've got to remember that while there are a lot of issues with shipping and production out of China right now, because China has been going through so much recently, it's also important to note that Halo Info and Halo as an IP has not been in the best spot. It's not always down to Mega to fix distribution when sometimes companies may not be ordering the product to begin with. I think it's super important that what we do right now is dig deep and support Mega regardless of poor distribution and we support Mattel Creations. You can buy sets direct from Mattel right now and it's worldwide shipping on MattelCreations.com and my hope is that regardless of how much inventory stores want to buy, we stock the inventory ourselves on Mattel Creations. So check that out for some good Halo deals. And remember, the Falcon Sweep is returning to Mattel Creations later this year with an exclusive drop, and you'll be able to buy it at retail, as well as the Halo Fan Vote pre-order going up later this month. And once I know the exact date, I will let you guys know. I also thought it might be a good idea to approach Mega, and this is no promise here, but I thought it would be a good idea to maybe offer the idea to Mega of selling a full case of Hero 16 and 17 direct from Mattel Creations. That means it would ship worldwide and maybe they just produce more to meet the demand of the fans. So if that's something you would like to see, drop your comment down below and make it clear to Mega that you want to be able to buy direct from them for Halo Heroes. I think it would have to be full cases worth because it wouldn't really be financially viable for Mega to just sell one Halo Hero. So maybe we could convince them to sell a box of all of 16 and 17 together. So maybe I'll pitch that to Mega if we get enough support. Halo Heroes Series 18 has five figures from across the Halo universe, and they are some pretty good ones. While it's not new mold heavy, there are some really iconic things here. The main one I'm just so hyped about is that Atriox, man. Like, ah, it's so dope that we're finally getting an Atriox. I made a Halo Heroes wishlist video about a year and a half ago. Atriox was the top of my list. Like, I couldn't believe that it's been this long since Mega's released an Atriox. If I was to guess, I think Atriox was originally meant to release in Heroes 15, but it was delayed and replaced by Decimus last minute because Halo Infinite was delayed and 343 didn't want spoilers leaking that Atriox was going to cameo in the game. But he's back now, and you may notice something very interesting about him. He has scarring all across his face. That's interesting in particular because we've never seen a close-up of his face like this in good lighting, and this is evidence that after Cortana blew up a portion of Zeta Halo, Atriox was left permanently scarred. And that's really exciting for the future of canon. The fact that Atriox not only had his home planet decimated by Cortana, but also his face left scarred gives him even more of a vengeance to take out his anger on the UNSC and humanity in general. At the very end of Halo Infinite, the final cutscene, you do see Atriox standing next to a Forerunner terminal. You can't really see in the lighting that he's that badly scarred. Because you remember, like, Mega gets images 
assets from 343 that the public doesn't even see when they're designing their toys. So they've clearly been shown an asset where Atriox has been left deeply scarred from the events of Zeta Halo and Halo Infinite, which is really exciting. Like, I think that's a dope character development for Atriox, and I cannot wait to see how he takes his hanger out on humanity. So let's take a closer look at Halo Hero Series 18. So we'll start with the multiplayer Spartan in this lineup, and we do have five incredible figures here, but I think it's particularly interesting that we finally have the peppermint coating Spartan. This first premiered in the Winter Contingency event back in 2021, and when I saw this image, I was kind of struck because I thought to myself, Simon, you already own this figure. Why, why is Mega releasing it again? But then I realized the actual peppermint figure I own is from Flustered MCX, so it's the exact same thing, but this is custom painted. So I'll be really excited to compare these side by side. The last time we got a multiplayer Spartan was in Halo Hero Series 16, and that was with the HCS launch Spartan. So it was pretty cool to actually take that Spartan to HCS to the Halo Championship Series. And now it's even more cool to see this peppermint coating uh, released. I saw a lot of comments like, what is this goofy coating? I think people that have joined Halo Infinite now don't even remember a winter contingency event a year and a half ago, but I still think it's dope. And it just, it just goes to show, not only should Mega produce more and more of these multiplayer Spartans, they also need to just quickly push through their backlog because there are so many. There are literally more and more. We just got two new armor cores like with season three. So there are just endless multiplayer armor coatings to uh, cross off the list. So Mega needs to step it up and get going. This Spartan also comes with a peppermint assault rifle and that gorgeous, gorgeous metallic red visor. There are so many different visor colors in Halo Infinite right now. Mega just needs to start rolling them out on all their figures. Like there was so much customization you could do. This peppermint Spartan is an example of how like pretty much every mega figure going forward should have some official coating from the game. So I hope Mega continues with this. The only figure in this lineup that is brand new molding, and I'm sure is the figure that people are by far the most excited to get their hands on, is the grotesque Halo 3 Flood Combat 4 Marine. Damn, this looks good. I've been told that the head mold is a Call of Duty zombie figure, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, like even just looking at the picture now, I can't believe my eyes. So the Flood have returned because of the Mega Halo fan vote 2022. We voted for the Traxxas Tower Flood to be produced as a set. It then became Traxxas Factory Flood, and now Floodgate Firefight. And we revealed Floodgate Firefight last week, and my god, that set looks good. It comes with two elite combat forms in floodified mode. But this one, I think, takes the cake. I think this one looks even better than the elites. And the fact that it's a Halo 3 Marine, which coincides with the fact that we've had Halo 3 Marines in the new universe blind bags, and we're getting them in the new elephant, like it's perfect timing to roll them all out and have an army of Halo 3 Marines and a dozen floodified ones. Very exciting stuff. I particularly love the blending of different brown tones throughout his claw and that green battle rifle. This Flood Marine, like Mega, can you please just go on Mattel Creations and make just a pack? It doesn't even need to be produced in good packaging. Just make, just send me a box of 50 of these, please. Please, I'll pay you good money. I'll pay you in views. <laughs> and then we've got three repeat figures, like three figures that have come out before, but I'm not complaining. The first one, which I mentioned before, is this Atriox. I've always said that Mega should re-release official named characters all the time, but you have to step it up and you have to change something. You have to make it different, and they have done with this. This Atriox is noticeably different from all the previous iterations. I mean, the two Atrioxes we've had before was a gummy red one in Halo Warrior Blind Bags and an Atriox in Halo Heroes Series 3, I believe. And that's funny because also in Series 3 is a red Honor Guard. Both of these gorgeous figures ushered in Series 3 of Halo Heroes, and I gotta say, the red Honor Guard is very similar, but this Atriox, I don't think it's anywhere near as high quality as the new one. Particularly when you look at that image, we've got painted teeth and painted eyes, and that battle scarring is painted as well. That is outrageously cool. He comes with his gravity mace, which I always think should be a little bit bigger, but never mind. He looks so menacing. He looks like he's ready to take some vengeance on the UNSC, and I'm all about it. Bring on Infinite DLC. It's also exciting that Mega, you know, again, they could have just re-released Atriox, but they looked at all their assets. They said, what can we do different? And they found this Atriox at the end of Halo Infinite, battle scarred, and thought that's perfect. And I respect that a lot. I assume this is a Halo Wars 2 Atriox, and now this is going to be our official Halo Infinite Atriox. Ready to lead the banished into victory. The Red Elite Honor Guard also makes a return. And I gotta say, I didn't realize until I just looked back how long ago already the Lights of Sanghelios was. Like that was Halo Hero Series 15, which we've already had 16 and 17, and we're talking about 18 right now. That seems like yesterday. The Red Honor Guard came in Series 3. We've also had an AC Honor Guard in the past, and 
then tons of old articulation honor guards. And I gotta say, it's a really nice move. Not only did they re-release this because the red honor guard is one of the most expensive aftermarket figures, but they didn't just re-release it. They changed some of the tones. This now has some gray highlights and is noticeably different. So I hope the price of Halo Heroes Series 3 honor guard doesn't drop that much. I hope it still remains a rare collectible. But we've also got one that uh, people can afford on today's market. And then the final figure, I left it till last because I'm not as infused about it. It's the Kinsano. We got Kinsano originally in the Kinsano Cyclops, and honestly, she's still a decent price online. Like, we don't really need to re-release this, and I do see it as filler. She's got the flamethrower with the shark teeth that we're also getting in the new Floodgate Firefight, and she does come with a squishy flood. But honestly, it's not that worth it, and I do want to know if she comes with a helmet because it doesn't look like it, and that would be a bit of a waste if we also don't get the Kinsano helmet. But she does have really great paint apps, really cool tattoo on her face, and those red and blue highlights on her armor do go a long way. Let me know how you rate Halo Heroes Series 18 in the comments down below. This will ship in fall of 2023, and hopefully we'll get a drop on Mattel Creations, but that's only if you put some pressure on down below, and also I'm not making any promises. But yeah, it's a really quality series. I mean, I'm most excited about the Flood and the Aatrox, but I know that Red Elite Honor Guard will be really well anticipated by fans as well. Let's move on to Halo Blind Bags. Now, this Blind Bag series is interesting in a lot of different ways, and there's actually some really cool ramifications and predictions that we can make with this Blind Bag series as to some of the sets, or at least one of the sets that we're getting later this year. I also want to thank my good friend Jonathan for providing some of the armor details for these figures. His knowledge of armors produced in Mega and in-game is absolutely incredible. So we have six figures today, and you may notice there are no enemies in this series, which is kind of strange. I don't know whether Mega's planning to make an enemy series next one, but my best guess is uh, Mega's just experimenting. They're just seeing what sells. Like, they've probably done some test groups and they probably found that most kids just want to buy Spartans and they're going to see what happens. And if you don't like that, we should do our own test group and you should let me know in the comments down below that you want more Banished or Covenant in your blind bags. I'm happy with doing an experimentation where we just have a series of blind bag figures that are Spartans and then maybe we get a series that are enemies. I think it's probably more likely that we don't. I think maybe Mega might go forward just doing Spartans. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Six Spartans don this blind bag series and originally I was kind of surprised to find out that it's actually called Halo Infinite Series 5 blind bags. I originally thought it might just be uh, a Spartan reinforcements blind bag or they're trying something new entirely. But no, this is Halo Infinite Series 5 blind bags. I've seen the packaging and that's kind of interesting because a lot of these figures aren't actually Halo Infinite Spartans at all. Maybe they are going to be. Ooh, spooky foreshadowing. First of all, we've got the AC figure, the Spartan Yoroi. It kind of made sense. I think if we'd sat down and thought about it for a couple of minutes, we would have predicted that uh, Yoroi was going to get a AC figure in this series because they always do an AC figure based on like the most recent like new molds and most interesting designs. We've had like the AC Brute Chieftain or the AC Trailblazer, the AC New Infinite Master Chief. We've had loads of different ones. I'm always for an AC figure, but I do kind of feel like the AC should be a chase figure again. I think there should be a mystery AC, one per box in these series, but I think we're far past that now. The AC comes with a katana and a bulldog shotgun and just looks gorgeous. We've had two Yoroi's before this, one in the new Mongoose Outriders and one in Halo Heroes. And this one, you know, it's just an AC figure. There's not much to comment on, but I am looking forward to pop and swapping little parts of the AC and little parts of the Halo Heroes Yoroi and making a cool half transitioning AC figure. I think that'll look really Really nice. And the pilot, yes, it does have a removable visor. You can see the haunted helmet underneath, which is a really nice touch. The Spartan haunted helmet was the winner of the Halo fan vote 2021. <laughs> wow, I'm getting old on this channel. <laughs> so the pilot comes with a Reach Mark 5B pilot helmet, the UA up armor helmet attachment, and the whole three antenna on the side of the helmet, which is similar to Spartan Carter's design. It's got two EVA shoulders and the breacher chest piece, and the breacher chest piece was new with the Spartan haunted helmet. So this is the second time we've ever got that as well. Jonathan says it's fairly Reach accurate, though the colors are done more in line with Halo Infinite color selection, since Reach was a base color all over with just highlighted secondaries. Not half blue slash orange a la Halo Infinite. And it does come with a plasma repeater, which is nice to see. Although we don't have it in Halo Infinite, so it's not really... It's just interesting when you call it a Halo Infinite series blind bag, and then you put weapons in it that are just not Halo Infinite. Like, we have all these weapons from Halo Infinite. It just seems like a strange choice, but still, happy to see it. The last figure that's pretty ordinary before we go on to the really interesting stuff is this blue Spartan and 
it's donning the action block armor coating. The one that was in the Halo fan vote this year and the action block coating is the exclusive coating that was available when purchasing Halo Infinite Mega Constructs toys. Back in 2020, you could get an action block armor coating and an action block warthog by purchasing the Halo Mega Constructs warthog and pelican. So really cool to see that little nod in here as well. And it comes with the scrap cannon, which is also a fairly brand new weapon also introduced in the new Mongoose Outriders. You know me, I always love when the colors change halfway down the limbs and the blue armor, it just pops. It's a really nice basic figure, like it doesn't stand out, but uh, I'm still excited to add it to my collection. The only other time we've seen action block to my recollection is the Faithful versus Fallen pack. Now we get onto the juicy stuff, what the last three figures might mean for the future of Halo Infinite and Mega. So, this is interesting. Three Spartans all donning fairly new armor and all Halo TV show Spartans. Kai, Vanek, and the Master Chief. Now, why would we suddenly be getting all three of these with all three new armors all back to back in one blind bag series? I wonder. Now, throughout Mega's history, they've always released new figures and new molds in blind bags ahead of actual releases in sets. For example, the Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags had Kelly and Fred molds debut before they were actually official figures in anything else. We also had Victor the Grunt in Infinite Series 3. We had a Halo 2 Marine in Universe Series 1, the Halo 3 Marine in Universe Series 2, and the Mass Marine and Jackal Sniper in Infinite Series 4 blind bags. So it's quite regular, especially to save money to produce a lot of these these new molds and even maybe test them out in blind bags. So why have we got three Spartans all at once, Vanek, Kai, and Chief, all Halo TV show Spartans, in this blind bag. I think you can guess why. It's very likely that we're going to get a Halo TV show set this year. And I'm all about it because these Spartans look dope. I've seen a couple of predictions online that these figures may debut in an SDCC set similar to the Master Chief Collection one a couple of years back, but only time will tell on that front. But the other interesting thing is that these are specifically Halo Infinite blind bags. And yes, we don't have a pilot or haunted helmet in Halo Infinite, but what if this is actually foreshadowing that the Halo TV show armors are coming to Halo Infinite? They could be in a Series 4 Fractured event. I mean, Fractured event is perfect because it's sort of non-canon. I think the Halo TV series was okay, but I think it was shunned by like all toy companies and even Halo Infinite itself. So I think it's time that the TV show actually gets a little bit of love with some toys or a debut appearance in the Halo Infinite game. So the White Spartan has a sidekick pistol and a commando rifle with the green EOD, and the EOD is a new helmet chest and shoulders and the white is a new helmet at least possibly new shoulders though maybe a series one heroes chief reuse the chest may also be a reuse or a slight upgrade if on a female body all other parts are old and reused thank you very much jonathan you are so good at this both of these designs are based on the halo tv silver team designs the white helmet is nicknamed samuel which is likely a code name or a reference to spartan samuel from the main timeline see i think I th yeah see jonathan thinks it's riz's helmet it's actually quite unclear whether it's Riz's or Kai's. Maybe on closer inspection it is Riz's, but these are both definitely TV show appearance Spartans. It's still really exciting to see, and that EOD is a beast. Like, I'm excited to see a lot of him. I hope he comes out in an official Halo hero with way more detail. And the final figure is our Master Chief. He's kind of like a tan color and has shoulders that are similar to the Halo Hero Series 1 Master Chief from Halo the Package. But I don't think uh, anyone can really get a good enough view on this just yet, because we only have one base image. But yeah, he is likely to represent the Halo TV show Master Chief. Like, I've seen a couple of complaints online that the Halo Infinite Mega Constructs Master Chief uses a lot of molds that are quite old. So I'm happy to see this updated into the future. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this blind bag series. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Halo Hero Series 18 and Halo Infinite Blind Bag Series 5. I'm excited for these to drop this fall. And I gotta say, there's a couple of really cool tidbits in here. Atriox actually having battle damage damage and scarring that we can visibly see is really cool and is actually some additional lore into the future of Halo Infinite's narrative story. And the inclusion of all these Halo TV show armors almost guarantees a Halo TV show set this year or at least releases of those figures in upcoming Halo Heroes sets. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below and thank you to Summer Everest for sending me all this dope clothing. I'm going to be using it quite a lot, especially leading into summer. And if you want some cheap, affordable menswear to up your game, then head over to summer everest right now links and all the details down below as always you stay awesome you stay safe out there folks and the domain is signing off